Definitely many Sheiks in uh, the Virginia area. Um, a few in Maryland, not really that many. Uh, but primarily in Virginia, there definitely are a few. Most notably, um, why is his name not coming to me? Pup A. So he should be familiar with the matchup. Um, I do wonder if... I, I was going to say if Vinny's familiar with it, but I do know he is friends with the cat, so he's probably familiar with it as well. So it's really just going to be a, a match... Uh, a matchup where you know the better player wins. No really hidden secrets or anything like that coming from either of these two characters. Right now, though, Vinny definitely having the lead. But unfortunately for Sheik, Sheik that kills so late. You know, the lead doesn't really mean that much until your opponent is on their next stock. Because uh, especially with a character like Nets who has that kill potential oh so early. But 87% is definitely a good start for Vinny. Um, it, up smash might do it just about now, um, but more importantly, he can go for a Gimp attempt. That might kind of be his kill condition against Ness, and Vinny definitely one of those players that is not afraid to go off stage. I think a lot of Brawl players are uh, willing to go off stage to finish his stock, um, because that's kind of what you had to do in their game a little bit. And Vinny, being a veteran, definitely not afraid to, but in this case, did not need to. Beautiful f tail into that up air, and killing almost at as early as possible. I didn't even know... Um, she could kill a Ness at that percent. That, that may have been the only way. So good stuff by Vinny for sure, but you know, Zerum definitely firing right back. Tacking on that percent, but Vinny just with the reversal, several forward airs coming into play. Zerum gonna take that damage at 32% right now. Gets Vinny off stage. Gonna let him back on relatively safety. Going for those down tilts, but Vinny was not hit by any of them. I like the Tomahawk. I like even more of that um, mash out by Zerom. I think there was like half a pummel that happened right there. Zerom slowing the pace down a bit, saying, you know what, you got the low ground, I got the high ground. We're going to keep it that way for a second. Manages to come down for a moment, still looking for that opening. Vinny being so patient, not giving it to him, but he finally does get it. Zerom with that back throw. And you know, you could tell prior to that, he was like, I don't want to take any extra damage. I'm just looking for this back throw, and that's how I'm going to end this stock. He managed to do it, but Vinny fires right back. 67% already on Zerom. Roll back into that back air. Going to go for a ledge guard attempt. Was not able to actually connect. Zerom would have lost stock if he did, but Vinny did get some extra damage when it is all said and done. Now he has him at 94. This is a very close to that F tilt up air percent where um, Zerom did lose his stock. Last time, if we see a down tilt or uh, maybe an aerial, I'm sure we're going to see an F tilt try to punish that landing afterwards. Smart stuff. Oh, when he goes for the F smash, but Zerom falls out. Very fortunate for Zerom. Vinny thought he had the kill right there. Maybe an up smash may have been a better option. And again, F tilts, but not with the right hitbox to convert into that up air. And he's slowing it down just a bit. Looking for it. Converts. Beautiful punish right there by Benny. Going to take game number one at pretty much mid percentages. Great stuff right there. Survival. Now we're going to see the counter pick come into play for Zero. Gonna opt to just, you know, Smashville. Nothing crazy. Um, obviously, both these characters can do some crazy stuff with that platform. Both of them can essentially zero to death you. So that is something that uh, can potentially come into play if the platform is on the right side, almost like it was. But I'm not sure if that was DI or a little platform help right there. Zerum falls through on the other side. Very fortunate for him to avoid that situation. Many up by 1% right now. And uh, it seems like really the biggest difference between these two players is that uh, Vinny is making the most of any of these hits. You know, Zerom is getting hits of his own, but he's not able to convert or get quite as much damage as Vinny is. For example, he has him off the stage right now, but then they trade on the way back down, you know. And it's just, unfortunately for him, Vinny is doing hits in multiples of two and three, while Zerom is generally doing them in multiples of one. And that is really the deciding factor in this match. And again, that Bouncing Fish is going to connect. Vinny just looking so beautiful right now with these conversions and just making the most of any opportunity that he's given. Roll back, tries to get that up tilt. Nair out of shield. Zerum, you know, 
definitely can get this stock. It might be a little bit difficult, but he can get a back throw at the edge. It might do it. Um, other than that, he's going to need a bit more percent first or a strong hit of a back air. Back throw definitely will get rid of that stock right now. If he can find that opening of Vinny, I'm sure, knows it just like we all do and is not going to let that happen. I love the patience right there. Turn around, drop to the platform with the back air. Good stuff. Zera might, this might be it. Unfortunate for him, and it is, you know, down right now. 2 0 against Vinny. Courtesy of it being loser semi, so it is indeed going to be a best of five. So Zerum does have another chance to try to, you know, keep his tournament bracket alive. Smash Phil again, you know. Zerum not feeling like the stage really has anything to do with the defeats currently. Vinny up 2-0, though. Every time, though, you know, it seems like Zerum is starting off a bit a bit better time and time again. Um, Vinny is still convincingly winning over it. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to see Edgar attempt? Shoots that needle. Okay. What's he going to do? Oh, my goodness. Right now, Vinny putting on a clinic. That was so beautiful to watch. Almost melee-esque. Everything so calculated. X marks the spot. Only 21% on Vinny. That was phenomenal to watch. Talk about Edgar's. Edgard champions. <laughs> and I have no idea how that worked, but it did. And now Zerum just put on so much notice, you know. You've lost your stock above 100. You've lost your stock below 50. What are you going to do to stop Vinny? You're going to have to definitely dig deep. Zerum, definitely a phenomenal player. He has what it takes to do it, but he's going to have to dig deep and make those adjustments if he wants to see his tournament life continue and make it to loser finals. Because right now, you know, he's definitely clawing at it, but his grip is lessening and lessening by the moment as his percent racks up. Right now, F tilt to Nair, you know, getting edge guarded again. Vinny, so patient. Tries to look for an opening. Zerum fighting his way back onto the stage, but it was only temporarily. Back tilt is going to put Vinny off stage. Going to use a little bit of that PK Thunder. Does not connect. Rolls away. But Vinny just, even from across the stage, going to attack on a bit more damage with those multiple needles. As that comes through, Vinny chasing them again. This time back airs it in a rinse and repeat with the conversions. 